So, senior year is starting. It's currently August 31st, 2022. And I haven't checked my grades from my junior year, second semester. And class is about to start in about seven days in a week. So, it's finally time for me to check my grade. So, let's do that. Um, I hope to do it all in five minutes. Uh, this is all on school. Okay, that was fast. Uh, this is all unscripted. And we can see that my cumulative GPA now is 3.49 uh, right here. Uh, and I got a 3.28 during my spring semester 2022, second semester of my junior year. Cool. Um, B minus, B, A minus, A minus. Okay, not tremendously bad. Could have been higher if I had put in a little bit more effort because Intro to Ethics, that was an easy hub class. I just didn't really <laughs> attend the lectures and lectures were optional, but I didn't do the prompts that would have been the substitute to attending lectures. Uh, so hence why I probably got such a low grade out of my engineering classes, which is kind of crazy. Anyways, that was on me. Uh, mechanics, happy with a B. Uh, product design, pretty happy too. And heat transfer, very happy with an A minus. Obviously, would always love to have an A, but can't always get what you want. And then over here, let's see. Ah, oh, my camera screen is covering this. Um. Yeah, junior year, uh, slightly lower. I mean, all B pluses and a B, no B minus, but no A's either. So first semester was pretty hard because as you can see, I took five classes and that was a total of, I think, 18 credits because four of them were four credits. One of them was two credits, which is manufacturing processes, but manufacturing processes, oh God. That is definitely a class that is worth more than two credits. Either way, you get to see all of my grades and one of the main reasons I'm making this video is to really destigmatize sharing grades and talking about grades openly. I mean, my grades are not bad at all. I do understand that it is slightly easier for me to show that I have okay to good grades because they're not bad grades. It's not like I should be ashamed of my grades. But I don't know. I've been my entire life what you would call a typical A student in elementary school, secondary school, so middle and high school. And to say the least, I have been sometimes bashed for, or I wouldn't say bullied, but just, you know, frowned upon if I shared my grades because people would just be like, oh my god, you got such good grades, why are you even sharing them? Like, why are you making us feel bad? Point aside, um, I just wanted to share these grades just to destigmatize the sharing of grades and to kind of show you what it is like to progress from a essentially a 4.0 all the way down to a 3.5, which sucks. I wish I could get a 4.0, you know, started off as a really great A student, slowly, you know, dipped down the curve. But there is a purpose to that, and that is because I've realized that life in college isn't all about academics. And yes, you can get all of the grades you want, you can spend all of the time studying to get the good grades, but is it really worth it? What's the opportunity cost of 100% um, Spending your time studying. But yes, um, we'll go slightly over five minutes. It's currently 4.38. But yes, I progressively went down in grades. They have been pretty good so far. No C's whatsoever. Well, that's it for physics, which was credit and no credit taken over here. Uh, that was right when COVID started. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with my grades. Uh, over time, I developed 
acceptance that it is okay to get lower grades other than A's because once again, life is not always and all about grades. And you know, for the past two years, I've had such a blast being in college, just being a college student, networking with people, making friends, enjoying life experiences, which I never got to have. Because in case you didn't know, I'm from Venezuela. I'm a, uh, an, an international student. And being Chinese in Venezuela is a slightly different experience than the people who are native there. Um, so just being here in college in the U.S. is an amazing experience and so many doors opened. So yeah, uh, what can I say? Uh, I have two more semesters to go, as you can see. Uh, got classes over here and some PE classes. So my hope is that I can maintain a 3.5 by the time I graduate. Meaning, for the next two semesters, I have to earn above a 3.5. Meaning, I have to get all B pluses. Yes. And maybe or all B's. Yeah, all B's are all B pluses. I forgot the the ratio. Uh, I think three point seven is for B plus three point three point oh is B. Either way, that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.